Hi, my name is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Today, I'm going to talk about how you can get up early and how I'm getting up early every day. Now, I've been always interested in being more productive. Now, if you look at the successful business people, so like Tim Cook, he gets up at 3.45 every day, every morning. And then one of his Twitter, that was 2015, he said, got some extra rest for today's event, slept in until 4.30 in the morning. And another great businessman is Richard Branson. He rises with the sun at around 5.45. Now, apparently he's got a private island that sun rises uh, right time, you know, 5.30ish. But I live in Canada, up north, and then it's getting dark. It's winter time right now. And then at the sunrise is at seven o'clock. So when I get up six o'clock, uh, it's pitch dark. So it's really hard to get up. Now, let's say if you get up early and that's what I do. So if you start your day at six and then work for four hours, which is like half day, most of the people. And then still like 10 o'clock in the morning, right? And if you work the rest of the half day, you finish your day, your work day is at two o'clock PM. So now, so that's how I can, you know, go out, play tennis and study and take some courses like after 2 PM. Yet, I still work eight hours a day. I also found this information from the internet. So the average annual salary is early riser is $45,000 uh, versus late riser is $30,000. And then, um, um, yeah, so the early risers, if you get up at 4 p, uh, sorry, 4 a.m., uh, 48,000 and 5 a.m. So force, uh, I don't really know um, how accurate that is. Uh, looks, looks like there's a link here, the recent research. Uh, I'm not gonna go, you know, I'm not gonna click that today. Uh, but if you wanna look at this website, I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy and paste the link below here so you can take a look at it. So that's kind of another, you know, it's not because we get up because, we, you know, we wanna earn more money. Um, but I think uh, getting up early, uh, can be much more productive um, based on my, my experience. So now the problem lots of people having and including actually myself too, I have to be honest, is getting up early, especially winter time is very hard. And I recently actually discovered that this kind of smart watch really helps. And then there's kind of function called smart wake uh, smart wake up or smart wake. So what it does is uh, we have like different sleeping cycle. You go to light sleep and deep sleep and then go to uh, the REM, which is uh, rapid eye movement. So when you're at the REM cycle, uh, your brain's, your body is resting, but your brain is um, awake. So what this does is I set up alarm o'clock at 6 a.m. But when my sleep cycle goes up to REM position and this beeps, so even though I set up my alarm clock six o'clock and then uh, so this particular day, uh, this woke me up uh, 5.44 and 15 minutes earlier than I, I set up, but that's okay. But surprisingly, uh, I could get up without less sleepy. I mean, yeah, still, you know, it's, it's cold and then, you know, being in bed is so comfortable, but it's not that too bad. So uh, I've been using this smart awake uh, on my Fitbit uh, every day. And really, this this really helping me too, actually. So today, I just want to just introduce that um, something I didn't know. And then, um, you know, I use this smart wake. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure like Apple Watch and other, you know, other smart watch has similar functionality too. So I just wanted to let you know, uh, this is really helpful. And then uh, if you use, I'm, I'm interested in learning about technology, how technology can improve our lives. So uh, if you have any technology 
or maybe apps you're using to improve our lives, uh, please let me know by just um, you know putting comment in the below, and we can share uh, with others. So uh, that's all for today, and then I'll see you next time.